From industry news to mobile technology, leaks, and rumors. We cover tomorrow's tech news today. eSIM Tech News. You like that? <laughs> Told you I was going to be like 5 o'clock news. Okay. Apple Intelligence is here. iOS 18.1 was launched this morning. Just updated my iPhone literally minutes ago. Now, it includes a bunch of a, of highly anticipated AI features, writing tools, a new look for Siri, notification summaries, and a whole lot more. So, after a lot of marketing hype, developer testing, Apple Intelligence is finally here. Finally. Now, with the public release of iOS 18.1 rolling out today, Apple Intelligence is available on all iPhone 16 models and the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max, the all new iPad mini 7 series or 7th generation. Now, also rolling out to older Macs and iPads powered by the M1 chip or newer. So, if you have a Mac uh, or iPad that is running on the M1, M2, M3, or possibly M4 chip, you're going to get Apple AI. So starting today, iOS 18.1 includes the first wave of Apple intelligence functionality. More features are coming, however, in iOS 18.2. So to give you a little teaser rolling in 18.1 and then 18.2 should get the full force, the full brunt of their AI capabilities. Now, uh, iOS 18.2 is going to roll out in 2025. So you're going to be on 18.1 for the rest of the year, roughly two more months. And then uh, here in the first month or two of 2025, you should see 18.2. The headline features available now include writing tools, notification summaries, a new visual update for Siri, photo enhancements, and more. Here is everything in detail. So Let's talk about how you enable Apple intelligence, right? So with iOS 18.1, Mac OS 15.1, and iPad OS 18.1, Apple intelligence launches exclusively in the United States. To Apple intelligence features, you need to have your device language set to English, quote unquote, and in the United States. Now support for more languages will be added in the future with future software updates. After downloading the operating system update, you must also opt in to Apple Intelligence to get all the new features. On your iPhone, go to settings, then go to Apple Intelligence and Siri and enable the toggle for Apple Intelligence. Unfortunately, you don't necessarily get access to the, all the shiny new features immediately that Apple showed us uh, at the launch, but you must first join Apple Intelligence waiting list. Yes, it sucks, but it is what it is. It may take a few hours or up to a few days to get accepted into the beta, but once you're in, you'll receive a notification informing you your device is ready to use Apple Intelligence. AI models will be downloaded to your device using about four gigabytes of your storage. So let's get into what is new with Apple Intelligence. Let's get into the writing tools, right? I'm gonna use those a lot, I'm sure. I can't, that's what I'm gonna use most of. So uh, let's get into that. So in almost every app where you can select text or adding text, you can use writing tools, right? Writing tools include a variety of AI powered transformations to apply to paragraphs of text. Some text and press writing tools, excuse me, select some text and press writing tools to open the panel. You can then choose from several options of proofread or rewrite your text, perhaps to make it sound more professional, right? Or to make it more concise. You can also make a summary, create a list of key points, even make a table of data described in the text. Now let's move on to notification summaries. This should help me with my lack of iOS usage. When you receive several notifications from an app, they usually appear in a group on the lock screen, right? 
normally you'd have to tap on the that group to expand and catch up on that content now with apple ai you can instead read an automatically generated summary of all the notifications in that specific stack and you can do that to each stack as well notification summaries help you catch up on busy group chats right noisy news alerts and more you can turn notification summarization on or off for every single application independently to customize go to settings then go to notifications and then select summarize previews now one feature that's getting uh, enhanced with ai that i doubt i'll ever use and i might do it just to make you know show it in a video other than that not using it is siri so siri is getting ai enhancements right ios 18.1 includes several enhancements to siri however the voice assistant functionality works the same bigger updates to siri's capabilities are coming later in ios 18 releases such as 18.2 18.3 so on you get the idea ios 18.1 includes fancy new edge lit design for siri and you can double tap on the home indicator to type to siri instead of voice the sense the synthesized voice also sounds more natural right google has perfected the ai voice and apple seemingly looks like they're catching up at least as far as that's concerned now it is understanding it is more resilient when you stumble over your words so it can basically understand what you're trying to say even if you say uh like i do sometimes it'll still it'll still figure out what you're trying to say and give you uh the correct response the synthesized voice also sounds um, um, you can pick between, I believe, six different uh, voices, right? You can also ask for Apple product help, and it will surface snippets from Apple's vast knowledge of its base and of documentation. New photo features. Yes, I'm sure I'll use these. The photo apps in iOS 18.1 has three big improvements as a result of apple intelligence firstly search is enhanced with the ability to understand more kinds of natural language queries so you can find old photos by just describing their content right you could say uh, photos uh, of me with a hat on or uh, photos or videos with me with a watch on or a red shirt or with my daughter right something like that that's what it, that's where ai comes in handy for me secondly cleanup cleanup is a new photos editing feature that helps you quickly remove objects and people google's had this forever uh, uh, from the background or a scene you just drag your finger over a part of a photo and it will be removed using ai image painting finally you can create an emotional memory movie using a text prompt which will intelligently collate photos from your library into a vignette now let's move on to reduced interruptions which is aka focus mode or like i like to call it do not disturb mode because i put all my devices on do not disturb because if i didn't my i'd be ringing non-stop so reduced interruptions and focus mode a new focus mode attempts to automatically sort through your incoming notifications and suppress everything that's not important right now the ai powered reduce interruptions focus mode will analyze the content of incoming notifications and filter out anything that's not deemed of immediate importance you the user can set and manipulate how important you want each notification incoming notification to be and then it'll set that for the future and you can modify it down the line as well the smart notification silencing can also be applied to other focus modes by enabling the new intelligent breakthrough and silencing quote unquote option now we also have a smart reply and summaries in the mail and messages app similar to notification summaries 
messages and may it will summarize incoming messages in your inbox uh, inside the app itself, right? Helping you get um, a clear, precise uh, overview of what that message entails. This is especially useful for the mail app where a first couple of lines of email aren't usually helpful, right? Uh, about describing the content of that said piece of mail. Uh, with one tap, you can also summarize a whole thread of emails in a conversation in one go. And when comp uh, composing a reply, new AI smart replies help you save time with generated responses. Now, those are all of the features uh, I believe that are in iOS 18.1 right now, but there's, as I mentioned, more AI features coming soon. Uh, tentatively scheduled for a uh, late December, early 2025 release, iOS 18.2 includes even more useful features for Apple intelligence devices, including Image Playground. I know everybody's going to like that one. Genmoji, that one's been highly sought after. And Chat GPT integration, as well as visual intelligence for iPhone 16. Visual intelligence. So, have any of y'all downloaded Apple AI on your iPhone or uh, iOS device? Have y'all used it? Do you like it? Uh, I I started this live stream by saying I literally updated this phone right before I hit live. So uh, when we get done here, I'm going to dive into here, see what I like, see what I don't like, maybe make a video or two um, in regards to these features that we just discussed. So should have that uploaded by tomorrow. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Brian, appreciate you joining us. Um, my phone is not updating. Is there a download problem? There might be. Now, I literally, how long have I been on? I've been on for 39 minutes live. I updated mine so probably just before this, so probably 45 minutes ago. 45 minutes ago, I had no issues. I hit, I selected download and away we went. Uh, now, remember if the, the update was 18.1, should be very easy. You should just update it like every other uh, time you've updated iOS. Now, we get the Apple AI features. Um, you do have to activate them, right? So, um, how to activate how to enable Apple intelligence. So what you're going to do with a, uh, iOS, once, once you're on iOS 18.1, and I'll get into a tip you can try here in a second. Um, you're going to, to access Apple intelligence feature, you need to have your device language English, and you have in the United States. So if you're in the US, you might not get these features. So uh, make sure you have English United States selected. After downloading the system update, you must also opt into Apple Intelligence to get access to the new features. So you got to go on your iPhone, go to settings, then go to Apple Intelligence, and then go to Siri and enable toggle for Apple Intelligence. Now, what you can do is if you have a computer, you can, you can do over the air update or you can install the update via iTunes. Now, I doubt many people do that now. And maybe I maybe I should see if that's still operational before I actually tell you to do that. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, it's still possible. Now, maybe I'm incorrect. Uh, again, take that with a grain of salt. I'm not a heavy iOS user, iPhone user, but um, you know how you can restore your phone from a computer, from iTunes, or from, what is it, the iCloud? Uh, plug it in your computer, go to iCloud, go to iTunes, see what it tells you, right? If it's gonna, if there's an update, it'll let you know, right? They, they want you to be on the latest operating system. So uh, try that. Also, try disconnecting from a network. So I'm gonna tell you the little tricks and hints that I do for my Android phones. Um, step number one, Reboot your phone. That's the easiest thing. Now, when I say reboot, I don't mean turn the screen off, turn it back on. I mean physically power it off. Wait a few seconds. Power it back on and then check for an update. 
or you can disconnect from the network and then reconnect. So if you're connected to Wi-Fi, disconnect Wi-Fi, reconnect to Wi-Fi, check. Or if that doesn't work, disconnect Wi-Fi, disconnect from your data, from your carrier, and then reconnect data, and then reconnect Wi-Fi, and then check. Because what you want to do is you want to you want to cut the connection to the server, and you want it to reconnect to the server and basically refresh and recheck. Because if you're just steadily stuck to the server, and you're just hitting check, check, check for update, check for update, and nothing's happening, well, it's probably just stuck in the in layman's terms stuck in the off position even though it's connected so what you want to do is disconnect from the server right from the update server and then reconnect a lot of the times that's done the trick for me now that's been on android devices so it may be different for apple but um uh daniel says use apple device manager on windows in the windows store it's their interface since itunes is pretty much a thing in a goes to show you how how long it's been since i've used iphone right i'm still talking about itunes and that's been about 10 years ago so there you have it go download if you have a windows device download apple device manager from the windows store install it run all the permissions and then uh plug your phone in another thing is sometimes with these programs you actually have to restart your computer too I know that's been in, when I used to flash a lot of phones, Android phones, operating systems back in the day. I would download Odin, which is a Samsung flash tool. And a lot of the times I'd plug in a Samsung uh, and it wouldn't work. And I found out the hard way. Well, once I download the program, you install a new program, literally have to reboot the computer or laptop. Once you get rebooted, you're up and running, then everything seems to work fine. So uh, just keep those hints in mind. But yeah, definitely, I would definitely try Apple Device Manager if you have a Windows laptop. Uh, if you have a MacBook, it should, you know, uh, I'm sure there's a program to connect to all of your uh, devices from that. But um, try a couple of those out. We're, we're still gonna be on for another 15 or 20 minutes, so. Give those a try, and if no luck, uh, let us know and see if we can figure something out. But um, yeah, that that might. Brian's right. That might be a factor too. If you have like an iPhone 6s, you're not going to get the you're not going to get the update, right? That's been outdated. That's true. Uh, we we tend to forget, or at least I do. Um, some people have older keep phones for longer, and sometimes these manufacturers just simply don't push the update because your phone's too old. You know, is that fair? Probably not, but it, it is the way it is. So that's the other thing. If you have a newer iPhone, yeah, you should get the update. But if you have a 6S or a, uh, remember the 5C, little blue one? Uh, if you have stuff like that, you're not going to get the update. Um, I think they go back to on 16, 15, 14. I think it's iPhone X, right? That's the latest they update. Or is it excess now? 11. I don't know. Maybe y'all can answer that. Help them out in the chat. But very good tip. If Apple device manager. I'm going to have to download that on my, on my computer. Now, enough with the Apple talk. Let's get into some Google talk. Big, big, and also coincidental news for Pixel and Google. So, uh, let me see here. Very, very big.